ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video for a Friday the 13th. Fast weather changes, that's the big story, and uh, we are going to have some rain before the weekend gets here. But uh, don't forget the Storm Alert Tour rolls along. Wow, what a great crowd last night in Jasper. Jam-packed. We've already been to Utah, Trustville, Jasper. Next week, it's Oxford at the Civic Center. We'll have one more the following Thursday. We'll announce that location next week. But let's talk about the uh, weather this morning. Pretty cold out there. Readings are uh, down in the uh, 30s. In fact, the uh, colder spots are actually sitting around freezing. That's the uh, Gadsden sky cam there. There's our Jasper shot. And again, we were just down the street last night. That's the Walker County Courthouse. We were at the CHS building a couple of blocks away. And interestingly enough, that building was hit by a big tornado during the super outbreak. April 3rd, 1974. Went right through downtown Jasper. Just tore that place up. So the Walker County has a rich tradition of tornadoes. And Tuscaloosa looking over First Baptist Church on a uh, clear, cool February morning. Very fast flow across the deep south. That's going to make it hard to time out uh, the individual waves. Uh, just be aware that the weather's going to change a lot over the next seven days. Temperatures this morning are uh, pretty chilly here. In fact, we've got, uh, you can see the 30s around here. Single digits uh, diving down into North Dakota. Uh, it's pretty cold over Canada, but nothing harshly cold like we had last month. Here's a look at our numbers. Birmingham sitting at 39 at uh, 5 o'clock. But look at Gadsden. They've got 30 up in northeast Alabama. Convective outlook for tonight. Uh, very low probabilities of severe weather on the Gulf Coast. And we don't expect any severe weather here. Maybe some thunder, but probably not much. Expected rain for the next five days. Valid through Tuesday evening of next week. California looks awfully wet. And around here, the heaviest rain should be down south, where uh, rain will persist probably through much of the weekend. But around here, the amount should be lighter, with much of the weekend, we think, being dry. Uh, down below uh, at 500 millibars today, this is the 06 ZGFS at noon. You can see that screaming flow across the deep south. Down below, the day should be dry today. Uh, we'll see clouds increasing. Rain develops off to the west, and by tonight, the rain moves in. And uh, looks like just a good rain event, probably uh, one quarter to one half inch. And midday tomorrow still looks kind of wet, uh, but we think the rain will be ending here in the morning uh, with maybe some peaks of sunshine by afternoon. The better rain tomorrow will be down south near the Gulf Coast. Uh, I think the main window for rain about six o'clock this evening until eight o'clock tomorrow morning. And then Sunday, it looks like the northern half of the state will be dry. Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden. Uh, the rain continues on the Gulf Coast uh, down there below Montgomery. Pretty wet weekend for our friends in Mobile and Pensacola. Monday, though, everybody dries out. In fact, they have pretty cool high drops in here. That looks like a day where the high could be uh, upper 50s, something like that, about average for this time of the year. Tuesday, a southerly flow begins to return moisture. And then Wednesday, the intensity of the short wave is certainly not as great as it has been. We have seen a lot of different looks on this thing. Down below, you can see a surface low well to the north, and that suggests a band of showers late Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. But on this run, the chance of severe weather looks uh, much smaller. But again, we'll see. It's going to be hard to be specific with these things days in advance. And then Thursday of next week, uh, the wave is on to the east. Colder air tries to slip in here, but still the coldest is up north. Uh, Friday, here comes the next wave. That's a week from today. And, of course, uh, we're getting out there where it's hard to be specific. And then the following day, uh, Saturday the 21st, that looks kind of cold, doesn't it? Ridge pumping up over uh, the middle of Canada and a big polar vortex over Maine. Um, we'll see. Let's jump out there to the end of the forecast period, the 1st of March. And, again, that doesn't look excessively cold there. That looks wet. But the NAO goes strongly negative out there later in the month. And you just get the idea with that. It will be colder during the last 10 days of February compared to what we have enjoyed recently. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, alabamawx.com. If you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.